awesome viewers, welcome to AC Studio. If you watched my last acid ring review, I had a look at Ladia. Ladia is actually the pilot for the Lionheart Laurel. So if you look at the uh, box art of Ladia, he, she's actually standing in front of this. I have to get this figure. I, I don't really have a choice. As I mentioned in the last video on Nadia and Moria, you know, um, the I got this uh, for a good price. Some shops uh, sell the large acid ring figures like this one, right? The vehicles usually a little bit cheaper than the recommended video price. The recommended video price is 950 Hong Kong dollars, and I got it for 850 dollars. So it's actually really good value. So the first thing we look at is the box art. So this is a typical box art. Look at the painting, right? The artwork is absolutely amazing. You know, Kid Lau did a really nice painting, and because it is not an animated or anything like that, you know, it gives you a lot of imagination you know it's really up to you how you actually put the story together as well even though we got a vague idea of the storyline if you read the novels but which i never do you know i hate reading and this is the typical packaging of the um, acid ring vehicle so all right let's open it and have a look all right so they pack it on a clear plastic box oops and they have the accessories at the back so that's how it looks like inside the box Oops, turn it around all right so this figure looks pretty big actually all right all right and let's open it all right and i love the way they pack it they put a, another plastic sleeve you know just to further protect it right so the figure comes with the accessories so this i believe is sit so i'll show you later with a figure together and that's a uh, kind of like i don't know a, a handheld computer according to the uh, instruction you know you're supposed to put it in the hole here so there are two holes so you put it there one there and then you put it, the uh, seats here right uh, you put it somewhere around there and um, there's a clip here so that's a hole and a clip so that's how you put it in there hole is a little bit stiff as well but sorry i'll put it in there done so that's it's how it looks yeah that's how it looks like and then we got a few packs of cartridge so that looks really good i don't know really can put this out actually uh i don't think you can and you put it in there one two three and four so that's how it looks like so i got this figure uh, from the f109 as well and then you just make sure it is in a sitting position and on the platform itself you got this little peg so it's good you see the legs got a hole on it so you just put it in the, so you put it so you put a hose into the peg so that's how it looks like so he's working on the artillery you know the targeting you know calculations on the artillery like that and that looks really good like that and by the way the vehicle also comes with a machine gun you know that's really nice so yeah that's an extra item maybe for the figure itself as well and then i got lardy here and i'll put the lardy into laurel inside right so the thing is i think you open it that way yep open like that and then you open the bottom part of it Yep, all right. The great thing about this part is you can see this mechanism here, right? If you actually move in and out, right? This mechanism actually pushes, oops, pushes this in and out as well. The back piece, you can see how it works. So you see, it actually retracts in, out, in, out. Pretty cool. And this is an item that you can find in other Laurel. It's the same mold anyway, but it's interesting, you know, give you a bit of mechanical feel to this vehicle. So you just make sure the idea we're on a sitting position as well. The shoulder is a little bit tight, but you can always squeeze it in there. It's not too hard. I just put a hand on top of the handle rather than holding it because it's hard to take it out later. So I'll just put the legs in it. So that's how it looks like. Very nice, isn't it? Then I close it. And close it like that. Yep. Like that. And close off the head. Like that done so now Ladi is inside the vehicle yeah very nice now i'll go through some of the play features of this laurel so one feature obviously is this you know you can put an extra figure on it another play feature obviously is the cartridge 
and so you may have dioramas you know to have people you know or you know soldiers holding cartridge kind of replace cartridge and stuff like that you know that's really really cool as well and also at the back you got this very interesting arm here right so you can take this arm out and then it can rotate so you do that slowly and then you can uh, you know take the cartridge so you can take one of these and hold it oops take out one of these and hold it and it got this little kind of recess here which fits into the arm exactly fits into the arm itself look at that absolutely amazing and it got all the ball joints here so you can actually do all this like free point movement multi-directional movement like that and then what you do you load the cartridge onto the artillery or the cannon right so you can push it up like that let me see so you can actually push it up like that it fits perfectly look at that see it fits perfectly and then you release it like that look at that just absolutely amazing right for the money you pay for the vehicle this is stunning i mean i actually think the price is really really good you know better than joy toy in my opinion anyway so that's one very interesting play feature so you put it back like that right same as that one okay i'll just pull this out and you put one up in there right just slot it into it done look at that and the can can actually move out up like that further up if you want to you know yep put further up higher like that push it further if you like it's up to you, your imagination how you want to operate this yeah and the cannon uh, you can also retract so let's say if it is not in a battle position so what i do is i just retract this and then this going to the back like that and then uh, you push it down like that just for storage and then uh, the head itself it got this like targeting system or some kind of sensor i'm not too sure put this up like that so i'm not really sure what it is and then it can rotate like that you see you can rotate 360 yeah like that really cool so you got a lot of play features on it and then you just like retract it back when you don't need it and it looks like part of it like they even know it is there right that's it that's it look at it look at how fine it is right so and then you got this like clear plastic blue plastic transparent piece go all the way down there so this is where the pilot can see the outside through this you know uh for monitors or sensors whatever we have a look at the lower part as well the vehicle part right you got four wheels on it the wheels have individual suspension so you want the laurel to sit up higher you can actually rotate like that so you can see how it actually rotate at the bottom yeah like that and then you can actually rotate this as well and make it taller so now you can see it is high now but it looks really awkward but it looks higher yeah or if you like you say look i want to turn a sharp angle or lower lower the, the tank like that you know facing down you can do that or facing up as well so you just turn it down that way push it up like that like that look, oh, look at that you know it's just funny yep okay like that or you want to do side tilt as well look at that you can do that as well look at it so i just push this down and the set of wheel just you know lowered and this is higher as well oh, the guy just fell off sorry he's dead and like that yeah like that you know you can, so that means even though yes it is not on legs right you can give it a different pose so make it looks really dynamic the other feature of the rail is apparently the uh, upper body and wheels can be uh, separate so it is actually joined on a ball joint you can see it's actually on a ball joint there you just have to pull this out which scared me off a bit because i'm so scared that this break one is break this thing's finished so you need to be very careful but it is actually very hard as well at the same time which is really really annoying uh actually figures the joints are always very hard which is also good but at the same time a bit scary when you try to pull this out all right done <sighs> scare me off but one thing i'm just not too happy with this laurel is you know the upcoming 303 division laurel actually comes with the wheels and also they give you legs as well but this one doesn't have a legs so i'm not too happy with it you know i mean once you pull it out so what, what do i do with this you know do i just leave it here or what i just don't know so this is the thing i don't like about this i want to pay a little bit more to get it apparently the upcoming laurel free of the 303 
um, give you the legs, which is only like which is only like thirty dollars more, right? So why why don't you just give us a legs on this one as well? Anyway, you can open this and hide the ball joint. So you can put this ball joint in there like that. Close it off. Yep, and then you put this out, and that is actually where you can you know put the artillery piece on it. So apparently, the artillery piece you can actually put this out. It is on a pack, like that. See, like that, and put the other one as well. Take a bit of time, be patient, otherwise you'll break it. And then what you do, based on the instruction, uh, you actually put it here, right? You put the pack into the holder, just there. Yep. And then what you do, you put it there slowly again, and the other one as well. A like lot, a like lot, just a like lot. Look at it, so cool, isn't it? And at the back, you can hop on to a vehicle or anything like that, you know. So I got a flake bike, uh, and then what you do, you have to do this, put it down like that, done, and then you just hold it together, yeah. So, so you just hold it together like that, and then you just do this, yeah, yeah, cool. This is the field angolo of F109. This field angolo is probably the best toy that I got in 2023. And I'm gonna have a review on this very soon. And at the back of an angolo, you can do this, you can have a hole, or you can do this, have a hook, and then you put it together like that, like that. So that is how it works. So you can turn it around, go around, yeah. Or transport it to a battlefield like this. Look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Very nice. I love it. Or take the whole Lionheart L'Oreal, you know, transport it. Then you just put it back together again. Like that. So you can, what you can do is you can have the L'Oreal hook onto the ankle and transport it to a battlefield. Like that. Pretty cool, isn't it? Oh god, I love this vehicle and the uh, Laurel. Very, very cool. Absolutely stunning toy. And it looks really good together, isn't it? Now, please enjoy the gallery and then I'll come back to you to tell you what I think of this figure. In the conclusion, I will tell you that this Lionheart Lowell is definitely a must get if you are into Acid Ring or into the F109 army. For the price you get, right, this is roughly 120 US dollars. And that is a very good deal. Consider how many pay features it gives you, right? The articulation, you know, the uh, and the flexibility that you, it gives you, you know, to play this, you know, or display this model. If you look at this, to be honest, compared to this crap, right? Uh, look at my Joy Toy review video. Most of my subscribers watch my Acid Ring and Joy Toy figures. The Joy Toy Robert Gilliman uh, figure, right? Um, this too costs exactly the same price. But look at this and that. The quality is crap. You know, the painting is crap. Um, and look at that. That is perfect, right? The articulation, painting, play features, everything is 
almost like perfect, right? The only criticisms that I have on this figure is they should give us the legs as well. Just like this Laurel, this is a stealth Laurel, they should give us the legs. The upcoming field 3 Marine Laurel comes with legs, so why don't you just give these to us as well? But of course, you know, you may argue that, you know, the function of these things is different. It's not supposed to have legs and all this stuff, whatever, right? Uh, but as a consumer, as a customer, I want to have that flexibility and I don't mind paying you know, $20 or $50 dollars extra. And now comes to the end of this video. Uh, by the way, I had the video review on the Nadia and the 88 Mora. So if you haven't watched that video, please show your support by watching that video and like that video. I will speak to you next time and I will have the review of the Phil Ankylo. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.